Hey everybody, this is Kevin Knight. I'm the director of bands for Crosby High School. We're located in Northeast Houston, Texas. I hope this message finds you well. I know that there are a ton of resources right now uh, that you can find on the internet and on social media for things, uh, encouragements for you to practice during this extended period of time and, and try to keep up your craft and your artistry and your, uh, your abilities as a musician. Uh, during this time of physical separation. So um, there's a few band directors that are going to be doing this on this uh, webpage. Thank you to Mr. Josh King for the invitation from Beckville High School. Um, I'm told that Melody Ann Mallow and Fred Allen might be on here. So uh, I will try to keep up with Melody Ann's intellect and try to keep up with Fred Allen's jokes. So uh, I'm going to be talking about three things and I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes because us band directors can talk and talk and talk. And there's my doggies in the background. They're really roughing it right now. Uh, I'm going to talk about um, ear training, good tone, and thus good tuning. So how do we grow our ears, um, uh, ways that we can improve our tone, and all of that uh, will help our tuning improve as well. Okay, over the next few days and weeks, I challenge you to start every practice session with breathing exercises, and humming, singing, and playing long tones while using a drone. Okay, so you're, you did your, your breathing and your stretching and whatnot. You've got your metronome on. We'll do a concert F, so. Set your face, ready. Okay, and then you play your long tone, right? And um, let's say we want to have our long tone going here. So use your app or your phone or your piano or your tonal energy or whatever, and you've got your long tone going. Metronome's on, and one, two. Okay, and then you do your um, humming and singing and, and then play your long tone. Um, I noticed on my hum, I was a little low and scooped up. Okay, so these are things that you, um, you can just listen and raise your level of awareness and, and demand of yourself that everything starts right in the center of sound and it has a clear start, it has smooth body of sound, and it has an organized ending. No scooping or twang or anything else. Um, even with your humming and your singing and your buzzing and your playing. Everything starts right in the center of sound. So if I did that again, let's see if I can do better. Yeah, I feel much better about that hum if you could if you could hear it on your end. So um, just do it again. Just do it again, do it again, do it again. We have so much time on our hands right now. So we can really dig into these little um, concepts that lead to bigger things. And it's going to make you a better musician. If you're just starting with ear training and you never really learned uh, using numbers as scale degrees in college or your band director hasn't, maybe just maybe just consider this. Um, thinking about intervals as numbers. Okay, so let's start with the scale. Mm, there's your B flat. That's the first note. So that's the tonic. That's the number one. There's eight notes in a major scale. And so that's one, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, another exercise you can do to grow your ears and work on learning your tuning tendencies and relative tuning is just playing part of the chromatic scale, just a few notes. Uh, maybe uh, turn your metronome on softly and just do uh, something slow, maybe whole notes. Here's a concert F, so you can set your phone up or whatever and record yourself and then go back and listen to it. Okay, so two, ready, and...
Yeah, and then go back and listen to it. And okay, does that really sound like a half step? Am I in tune with myself? If you go to tsmp.org, that takes you to the Texas School of Music Project, a uh, webpage created by the School of Music at Stephen F. Austin State University. Wonderful resource for uh, any area of music and uh, music education. Uh, I'm going to go to band and uh, tips for band. This was created by uh, Mr. Fred Allen, retired band director from SFA. Wonderful person and wonderful band program. Um, most of the links on this entire uh, project are kept up. I noticed that some of them uh, don't quite work anymore, but most of them do. And we're looking at intonation tendencies for wind instruments, um, something that is so important um, that you know as part of being in a band program and as being a performer um, are the notes that um, just are a little harder to play in tune on your instrument, sharp or flat. Um, so I saved all of these years ago, so I'll take you through them real quick. Uh, Mr. Allen created these and it's fantastic. Uh, bassoon intonation, for example, notes that are typically flat, not always, uh, but, but usually, and sharp. Okay, clarinet intonation, notes that tend to be flat, notes that tend to be sharp, and some alternate fingerings um, to help you combat that. And also, when might it be flat, for example, could be flat and forte. These sheets from Mr. Allen are very specific um, and very well thought out and data-based, and uh, they will really help you. Uh, euphonium intonation, flutes, etc., etc. French horns, yeah, most of our pitches are pretty well centered. Uh, we are, we know that, don't we? Horn players, trigger one and two, yep. Okay, so oboes, uh, <laughs> circle the whole page. Um, but um, this is a really good resource that um, I encourage every single band director in the world to print out and give to their kids twice a year and just remind them and help them because um, kids want to learn. Kids want to know uh, this information because they want to sound good. They may not always say it or act like it, but but they want to be knowledgeable. They want to, to know this stuff, and it'll make them sound better. It'll make them more skilled on their instruments. So um, if you're a student watching this video, um, find this and print it out and memorize it and test it out and see if, it, if it's true for you. Not every note will be as flat or sharp out of tune as others. Uh, but I think this list is really, these charts, it's a really good place to start.